Hey guys, it's Norm here. Today we're gonna to be going over how to fix the issue where the Logitech G923, it's not being recognized by some games. For me, it was happening with Forza Horizon 3 and like Assetto Corsa wasn't recognizing it correctly. Now, Assetto Corsa Competition actually worked for me, just not the original uh, Assetto Corsa. When I tried Assetto Corsa Competition, it works perfectly fine, but Forza Horizon 4 wasn't recognizing it correctly. Forza Horizon 3 was not showing anything at all. It doesn't even recognize it, like that it even exists. But I'm gonna be showing you how to fix this issue where it's not recognized so that hopefully y'all can play. What happened is this guy, what he actually ended up doing, if you wanna look at the comment, I'll link the video down in the description, but he pretty much helped me out by showing me one program that actually solves this issue. This guy, Richard Neville, thank you so much, honestly, because this is what helped me with figuring this shit out. I'm gonna put this link down in the description as well for you guys, just to make it a little bit easier. So you're gonna go on this link here, it's gonna bring you to this page. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna download Forza Emo Wheel. So once you download the Forza Emo Wheel, um, you're just gonna go ahead and click on Setup Guide and it's gonna bring you to this page. You're gonna go through the steps exactly like what they say here. You're gonna download and install the latest build of VJoy device driver. So you're gonna click this link. It's gonna bring you here. This is VJoy. It's gonna start automatically. Pops up right there, VJoy Setup. So now you pretty much have everything downloaded that you need. And then we're gonna go along with this setup too. You download it and you'll see I downloaded it before from when I, you're gonna get this little icon, vjoysetup.exe. The Forza Emu Wheel is gonna download as a compressed folder. As long as you have like 7-zip or something, which is, you know, you're gonna get this folder. And then you're pretty much set with these two folders here, this one and this one. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on VJoy Setup, and then you're gonna open that up. You're gonna hit yes. It's gonna pop up with the little setup wizard. So you're gonna go through, next, next, install. Now a problem I was having is sometimes this won't pop up. It won't do it automatically and say that it was uh, installed successfully. It just stays at 100% and just doesn't go off. And all you gotta do is literally just go into Task Manager and force it to end the task. It's gonna force it to close and it should be installed. If not, just keep doing that and it works for me. After you install that, now you can actually open up the unzip folder for Forza Emu Wheel. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna click on Configurator. So this is gonna be where you map all of your controls. So all you gotta do, you're gonna click set for each one of these. So once you click set, you'll see it right here. I'm just gonna move it a little bit. It immediately recognizes that. Then the throttle, click, brake, set, click the brake. You're gonna have to go through one by one, but it's gonna work. And I'll show you for the buttons, cause this is for like steering, brake, throttle, clutch and everything and the D-pad. And you can also set up the shifter if you want to. But what you'll see is you, you click set for buttons and you're gonna click on the drop down, and it's gonna show every single button. But this was super easy. So like you click Xbox A, so that's the A button. Click A on the controller, it sets it. So you're gonna have to do this individually for every single one. But honestly, it was totally worth it because now I can play Forza Horizon 3, which I love. So you're just gonna keep setting up one by one until basically you have what I have here where I set it up with everything. And then after that, you're just gonna make sure that you save the config. Once you save it for the first time, that's gonna save it to this little file here that you're gonna need just so you can load it up every time. You're not gonna run Forza Emu Wheel yet. What you're gonna do first is this hush file. Basically what it's gonna do is it's going Going to make the computer think that the actual G923 is not connected because it's emulating it as like a separate wheel. So you're gonna click on the hush.exe, click yes, and then what you're gonna do, so you're gonna mute. It's gonna show device Logitech G Hub G923 successfully muted. The shifter is pretty much fine. That thing doesn't really show up on here or anything, so that's already fine anyways. Um, but once that's muted, now you can actually run Forza Emuwheel.exe. So this is Norman from the future now. I completely forgot to go over one step about this. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to set up VJoy. So you should be able to just go and click the Windows key and then type it vjoy it's gonna pop up with configure vjoy so you're just gonna click on that you're gonna click yes and then you're gonna set it up pretty much exactly like this one and then after that you should be fine once you apply the settings once you run this, now you shouldn't have any problems. Cause the thing is, if you don't set up the configurator, if you don't have the configurator set up and you don't have hush, like turn on for mute, then this isn't gonna work. And it's gonna tell you like that you have some sort of error, it's not working or whatever. But as long as everything's good and you did it right, it should show success recognizes the wheel and everything, force feedback is enabled and it's ready to start. So make sure that you click start because otherwise it's not gonna do anything. So click start, Forza Emu Wheel is running. Now we can open up Forza Horizon 3 and now I'm gonna show you guys that it actually works. So the one thing you're gonna notice is that this right here actually shows press three to start. Gods be praised. And now when I actually click the button, 
fucking works. All right, so you'll see if you look here, if I shift it into first, it goes into first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and I'm actually doing it with the shifter down here. So we'll actually start, let's see if I can get a good, oh, oh, shit. Sorry guys, I, I don't usually drive stick. So it's actually working. Oh, fuck, I forgot to shift. Um, and it's actually fucking working. Oh, fuck. I really hope that this helped you guys out. The guy down in the comments for my original video, he also said that there's gonna be an update coming out next month, so in September. Hopefully that's gonna shed some light to all the issues. And the RPM lights are gonna apparently work, so I guess we'll see and wait for Logitech. I didn't get any response, I still haven't even right now. I sent them two requests. I mean, I even sent a request on the Forza page. Nothing. Hopefully along the way, they're gonna come up with updates. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it actually helped you. Please leave a like, click that button. It helps out the channel a lot. I know I just started this, but I really wanna at least maybe make tutorial videos like this one to help people out or just set up videos. If you guys wanna see my setup, just let me know. But yeah, subscribe if you want to. Thank you, I really appreciate it if you did. Let me know what you, what you guys wanna see if you wanna see me play Fall Guys. I've been wanting to play that a ton. I'm just gonna end the video. I feel like I talk way too much. I probably had to edit out a lot of my my extra conversation. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.